What is up guys, it is Dragonfly Todd here coming at you with a brand new video. I'm going to talk about Kingdom Come Deliverance. This is going to be a medieval, realistic game and basically they want to make it a very immersive world and they want to make it to where you actually feel like you're living in the 1400s. So what they're doing with that is they're going to make all combat and I'm pretty sure the whole game in first person. And just looking at the uh, people played it in alpha, the game does look actually beautiful. In the game you play as Henry, the son of a blacksmith, and his main goal is to avenge, avenge his family that has been killed. The map is 16 kilometers squared, and you can even steal coin purses, like you cut it off of people's little uh, leather pouches and stuff. This is the most realistic medieval fighting that I have seen, and there is actually no quest marks that you can go, uh, go to, you have to actually go explore and look at people and listen to what they say and go talk to people and speaking of talking to people there will be a branch dialogue system what that means is you'll be clicking different branches of the dialogue to actually go into a different part of a conversation and if you click one thing you can't just go back and change what you say it's going to be like you actually said it and that's a set thing this will be released on PC, Xbox One and PS4 and expect a combat system similar to a mixture of Dark Souls and For Honor. I say that it's kind of like For Honor because there are like, you know, the little arrows that you have to match whenever you are pairing attacks. And it's going to be similar to Dark Souls in my opinion because I feel like the combat is going to be re very realistic. I did see a bleed out system. And there will be huge battles as you can see on here. And whenever you are battling someone, you always have to be in first person. And if you have a uh, maybe a mask on you will see the mask and it will actually feel like you have the mask on the swords in your hand and heavy armor will obviously make you move a little slower a little bit worse they did actually actually fight with uh, swords in the thing to make like their animations seem very realistic and make you actually feel like you are actually fighting someone in the game it's going to be a non-linear RPG storyline and I guess your main goal in this is to you know avenge your family and stuff like I said earlier and the thing that's different about this is guys that you are actually a peasant like you're not you have no magic you you're not some awesome like slayer a dragon slayer like in Skyrim you are just an average Joe living in a medieval 1400s place and this will actually be historically accurate with different large battles and castle sieges there will be a wanted system like if you kill somebody their guards the guards will see that you killed them and you know they'll be like hey dead body on the ground right there just as you would think that there would be there will be a weather system that is dynamic and i'm guessing that there will be different biomes but i haven't actually read into that yet this game definitely looks awesome and i was thinking about buying the alpha to play it for you guys on the channel if you guys would like to see some gameplay of it I will be focusing a lot on the combat and it looks it looks really good honestly the game the game looks really good and it looks beautiful and I I'd like to see how this game actually goes because it's said to be released in 2017 so I'll keep my eyes open on this game and if you guys want to go watch some gameplay now you can go to other channels just look up kingdom come deliverance and this here is the sword fight gameplay right now this is what I was talking about the arrows that you have to you know parry and I think it's really cool because they took a lot of different fighting stances from the books and the old like old writings I guess I don't know what to really say of, of like medieval times so they did the research in this game and I think it's shaping up to become a really realistic medieval experience and I love RPGs guys I like doing RPG and open world videos this game will be open world and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe. Also, go ahead and follow me on Twitter, guys. And tell me what you would like to see in the next video. I'm actually running out of content, guys. I kind of suck. So, uh, yeah, just put it in the comments what you want me to make a video over. It's kind of hard to make identity videos with no information being released. So, I'll just make those whenever I get new information or enough stuff to you know put in a video so if you guys have any new info go ahead and drop that down in the comment section below because discord 
It's been getting kind of hectic now, guys. Uh, people are just saying in there, like, basically, the game's not going to release. They haven't released the module. And honestly, I don't think that the, the developers should be worried about releasing the identity module because I think that the, I think that we would all be fine if they just released it like right now even if it isn't exactly polished up we could get a patch after you know they find out all the bugs I feel like but they want to make a good impression so that's why they haven't released it I love all you guys and I will see you in the next video peace guys